That's precisely as we were uh, trying to illustrate, you have different density. Mm -hmm. This one completely transparent, this one which is uh, opaque because it still has some bubble of air and so on, right? And that is very interesting, it tells us a lot of information. First of all, the crystallize, the most transparent one, is the oldest, as Vivet was explaining. The bubble got so compressed that they became microscopic and we don't see them anymore. And the pressure on these eyes is so much that even the molecule of water got a line. You know that the water is not compressible, but uh, the, the, the molecule can got better organized under the pressure. This is it. This is why this ice is so hard and that's why we need to be very careful on the zodiac when you see some crystal ice because this one is the proper breaker. Right? Yeah, yeah. Like that I is why the minimum. <laughs> on the other hand, the one that has some opacity means that the bubble are still a bit bigger and uh, it has not suffered that compression. So now the question is, how come? It makes no sense. You have more compressed, less compressed, more compressed, less compressed. How comes? And this is where you see very well the plasticity of the ice, right? Even if it's solid ice, it still behaves as a liquid. And when you have a river, the water is making some wheel, it's blending, they have some whirlpool and everything, and it's always a brass, you know, a brassage of, uh, of water. The same in the ice, and that's what you have here. Some of the most solid ice got uplifted by some current mm. and mixed with some younger one, right? It gives you an idea of all the movement that happen within the ice. Even if it's solid rock, it still behaves as a liquid, right? That's the way to understand the dynamic of the glacier. And uh, as Vivet was explaining, yes, it will take a thousand years to make a crystal ice, mm. but maybe more than that. And even after being completely compressed into crystal, this ice will keep drifting, we keep drifting up till it arrives on the front of the glacier, calves, and this is a little piece of it. So once again, how long is this one? We don't know. But the scientists start being interested about it. And uh, you know that uh, uh, Antarctica start being really on the uh, focus at an international level in 1959. This is when we had the international geophysic years. And this is when all the different nations around the world gather to make a deep study of the polar region, namely Antarctica.